Article 44. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $110,000, $55,000 from taxation, and $55,000 from the conservation fund for the fee simple purchase and permanent protection of plus or minus 70 acres, a 70 acre parcel, plus or minus, map 63, lot one, located off of Timber Swamp Road in Hampton for the purpose of conserving open space, protecting wildlife and aquatic habitat, and preserving wetland and flood control areas in the best interest of the town for the appraisal value of $108,000 plus $2,000 for legal and closing costs, of which the overall sum may be reduced if land conservation grant funding can be secured. Said premises to be held in perpetuity by the town of Hampton and placed under the care of the Conservation Commission. This parcel shares a common boundary line with both the Herd Farm, 120 acres, and Bachelor Farm, 110 acres, conservation easements, and will be the first parcel to connect these two easements, creating greater protection for the Taylor River watershed. This funding will be non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 7 Roman 6, and will not lapse until the acquisition of the land or by December 31, 2021, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, four to one. Recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, eight zero. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2019 tax impact on $55,000 is 1.6 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 44? Moved by Ms. Wolsey, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 44, Mr. Diener? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I'm Jay Diener of the Conservation Commission, 206 Woodland Road in Hampton. Um, this parcel uh, is, is unique in that, as the warrant article says, it connects some existing uh, conservation easements to further expand our protection of the Taylor River and Old River watershed. Um, it's important for water quality. It's important for flood storage. It's important for um, wildlife habitat uh, um, and passageways. Um, we have, as part of the Conservation Commission, a conservation fund that was established quite a number of years ago. And the purpose for that fund primarily is to purchase conservation easements or parcels when it's in the best interest of the town to preserve those parcels. And we believe this is one of those parcels. The conservation fund has been used recently um, in 2018 to purchase additional, prop additional acreage in the Hampton Town Forest. Um, and because of the funds that exist in, the monies that exist in the conservation fund, there was no additional cost to the taxpayers for those acquisitions. However, we don't have enough money in the conservation fund to pay for this entire parcel. So we're asking, we're offering to put up $55,000 from the conservation fund and asking the taxpayers to cover the cost of the additional $55,000 so that we can complete this purchase for the benefit of the town and its residents. So I urge your support for this warrant article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diener. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Geiser. Ann Kaiser, 7 Palmer Street. I just have a couple of questions for Jay. I'm wondering if this land is currently in current use. I believe so. And what would be the impact of the land use change tax once the town owns this land? I don't know. Okay. I don't think there should be any, Ann, because the, land, the current use designation applies to acreage 10 acres and more, and yes. this is going to go from, what, 70 acres to 70 acres. So I, I don't think there should be any land use change tax penalty as it shifts from, um, I guess, a private landowner to the town if this were approved. So. Okay. Just wondered, just wondered about that question. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Lessard. Yeah, Keith Lessard, 173 Mill Road. I rise in support of preserving the wildlife corridor out on the western part of town. If you were to look at it on a map, you'll see how it connects all the way through from the Northampton. Our goal, I guess, is to go from Northampton to Hampton Falls. Um, Jay does point out some great features of preserving this land and water quality and wildlife areas. 
and also areas maybe that we can still hunt in Hampton, um, passive recreation, and open land. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lissard. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 44? Ms. Wolsey. Uh, excellent article, excellent protection for the town. This will bring together several contiguous parcels over there, protection for the wildlife. You won't see houses on stilts in there, and it's protection for the river. Outstanding job by conservation, and I strongly urge you to join me in supporting this article. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 44? Seeing none, Article 44 will appear on the ballot as printed.